What's good YouTube? It's your boy Sam Dog coming at you with another video. So um yesterday I know I'm a little late on this one. I know the Seahawks signed uh Barcavis Mingo. He was recently on the Indianapolis Colts. I know he was drafted by obviously the Cleveland Browns and played a few years and won Super Bowl 51 with the New England Patriots. So definitely some interesting moves going going on. I mean, definitely feeling that we're probably in the midst of the re of rebuilding with the Seahawks. So I mean, so I don't know how wh wh what we're gonna do next. Maybe hopefully sooner or later we'll we'll try to maybe get some offensive line, which I think we need for the, for this team and all. But I guess we just gotta wait and see because Pete and John work in weird ways. It's, I don't know, man. It'll be interesting. Also, um, around the league, obviously, obviously Jordy Nelson signed with the Oakland Raiders today. So that's an so that's some news today. Let's see how much he signed for. We'll get to that really quick. Sorry, like I mentioned, I got the uh, got my iPad in that too. Bang Bengals re-signed Tyler Eifert to a one-year deal, so they got Tyler Eifert for another year. And Don Terry Poe signed with the Carolina Panthers. And a lot of rumors about the Seahawks trying to trade Earl Thomas to multiple teams. One of them still is the Dallas Cowboys. And all I know is that the Seahawks want a first round pick for Earl as well, but who knows what's gonna happen. Maybe maybe we might get more with this deal. Uh here we are. The Jordy Nelson let's see how much Jordy Nelson signed signed with the fifteen mil deal with the with the with the Raiders. So he signed a fifteen million dollar deal, so don't think we were gonna be able to afford that though too. And um see if there was any other oh, Doug Martin signed with the Oakland Raiders as well. That was a surprising one. 49ers trade uh trade one of their centers to the Miami Dolphins, which was um I know I'm trying they trade Kilgore and then the Dolphins uh released uh Mike Pouncey, which was their other center. Try to give y'all good info, but you know, I'm just also trying to also be good entertainment on the YouTube channel as well though too. So uh so make sure if you're if you're interested still, make sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, let me know what else what more I could talk about around the NFL or or what else I can do on YouTube wise. And also make sure to support my buddy Adam Axelson when he's on his weight loss battle. Also, sad news in the NFL today for all the people in New Orleans. Sorry about the loss of uh, the Saints owner Tom Benson. Tom Benson died today at the age of 90. You he was a long time one a long time owner of the Saints when he came in when Morton Anderson was still kicking and he he really I know how much he really meant to the city of New Orleans and all the contributions he made to the Pro Football Hall of Fame which he got the statue of him outside of Tom Benson Stadium Tom Benson Hall of Fame Stadium in Canton so he meant he probably meant a great he meant a great deal to the league I know how much of a great deal Paul Allen meant to meant to us in Seattle when he saved the Seahawks from almost leaving Seattle so yeah, I mean, that's how much Paul Allen means to us, but I know how much Tom Benson meant to the city of New Orleans, so sending out my condolences to the to the Saints fans in New Orleans. Sorry for your loss of for your loss, you know, when with the death of Tom Benson today. But um anyway, that's all I wanted to get at y'all with today, so uh don't forget to hit the subscribe button and uh catch y'all later. Go Hawks. And let's see what we do in the future with the rebuilding process.